Social scientists have been looking at street level bureaucrats empirically for a little over 30 years. And when we look at street level bureaucrats, we're really looking at those people at the front line of the organization. Traditionally, this has been police officers, teachers, and social workers or counselors. When we have done this research, this really came out of the work of Michael Lipsky, who talked about street level bureaucrats as the ultimate policy makers, saying that policy isn't really created until it's put into place. And so those decisions that street level bureaucrats make really influence what it means to create a policy or enact a policy. And so here I was looking along with my colleague Danielle Rudes at the street level bureaucracy literature and looking at the ways in which discretion and autonomy come into play with street level bureaucrats and looking specifically at police officers and the practice of stop and frisk. And what we found is that in the street level bureaucracy literature generally, it's not just about the discretion of individual officers, but really we see the development of routine practices and um, standard norms in organizations. So street level bureaucrats have the discretion to act in really unique ways, but they often end up making decisions based on the norms and socialization of their organization. So when we think about policies like stop and frisk, this isn't just trying to seek out kind of the bad apple of police officers who may be enacting the policy incorrectly, but oftentimes it has to do with how policies influence the norms and expectations of officers and organizations as a whole. So when we look at places like Ferguson, Baltimore, everything that's been going on in Cleveland, what we really need to think through is how do departments create policies and change that can reform for more equitable policing and how do they fit that within the broader local government culture? So departments are often reflections of the societies in which they serve and how do we make sure that those departments are reflecting the norms and expectations of equity, efficiency, and effectiveness.